chicken and dressing. That's what we're fixing today. Hi, my name is Susan, and today we're going to be doing chicken and dressing. Each dressing has a life of its own. It's each personal to the person who makes it. I've never tasted two people's cornbread dressing that tastes the same, but they're all good. So the dressing recipe I'll give you is a dressing you can make into your own. And if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button, ring that little bell, and please like this video. It'll help my channel to grow. So let's get started. First of all, you want to make a pan of cornbread. And I'll link my recipe down below. The only difference with this is it's a 12 inch skillet and I put onions and a half a cup of flour in it. The reason I had that flour is because my mama told me to, so that was good enough for me. And two eggs. After it's cooled a bit, you want to crumble it up and add any cornbread you may have saved in the freezer. This was something my mother-in-law taught me to do. She also told me to crumble up about three pieces of loaf bread and add it also. You'll want some boiled chicken removed from the bone, the broth from your chicken that you boiled it in, I started with two cans of cream of chicken soup and two whole eggs, an onion chopped, bell pepper chopped, two boiled eggs chopped, poultry seasoning and sage to taste, salt and pepper. Now the poultry seasoning and sage, be careful not to overdo it because it can turn your dressing green. That happened to me once. It was very strong. Add everything to your cornbread and stir it up really well. Keep adding your broth until it gets really, really loose because it will keep absorbing and you don't want your dressing to be dry. My dressing has evolved from my mom's, my grandmother's, and my mother-in-law's dressing. All three were very different, but they were all very good. My mom never added bell pepper, but my mother-in-law did. My grandmother didn't. My mom didn't add whole boiled egg, didn't add the boiled eggs, but my mother-in-law and my grandmother did. My mother-in-law didn't usually add chicken to hers, except she used to bake her chicken on top. My mom would use cream of mushroom soup in it, but my husband's family ha has allergies against mushrooms, so I'd never add mushrooms. Once everything is finely mixed, I like to let it sit for a little bit. Then I'll taste it. I know there's raw eggs in it, but that doesn't worry me, but you use your best judgment on whether to taste it or not. But after tasting it, I decided it needed another can of cream of chicken soup. This has been sitting for about an hour. So it is married and you get a feel of what it's going to taste like. But just remember as you bake it, the seasoning is going to get stronger. That's how I ended up with green dressing because the seasonings tasted good and I kept adding them and I ended up with green dressing. It tasted so strong we couldn't eat it, but my father-in-law bless his heart, he tried. After you get it to the right taste, you want to butter your casserole dish. I made a lot, so I've got enough for our meal and some for the freezer, because this is my husband's favorite meal. So I cooked a lot. This dressing is inspired by three women whom I love dearly and miss them very much. So I'm glad a part of them live on in this dressing. And that's my mom, my grandmother, and my mother-in-law. After you get your dressing in your pan, you want to put pats of butter all over the top. I made this dressing the day before I was going to serve it. In fact, this was for Easter. And so that Saturday, I made the dressing and wrapped, put foil on top of the blue dish and put it in the refrigerator and I froze the other three metal pans. I 
here we go. It's a lot of work, but I have I have three pans for the freezer too, so that's three more meals, so I think it was worth it. And the next day, I took it out and set it on the counter for about 30 minutes before baking. I baked at 350 to 400. I think I went in the middle this time with 375 and baked it for about an hour. You want to take it out when it's just barely jiggling. You want to let it set for about 10 minutes. And as you can see, my husband, he got a hold of it. He highly approved. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and please subscribe. And until next time, bye.